So why would a millionaire or a multimillionaire still be denied a loan by a lender? The loan, you know, the guy owns 15 buildings. He's worth he's $50 million. I'm sorry? He's leveraged. He might be leveraged uh, to the top, but um, he's still got assets and they could collateralize those things, right? So it's possible, but that's not the main reason that most people uh, forget about, uh, you know, it could be a multimillionaire, but it could just be you and this is your first property and they say, no, I'm not loaning you the money. Even though you've got, you know, a whack of money in the- Property's not worth it. Yeah, the property's right, property's not worth it. In, in what respect though? That's right, it doesn't cash flow. So it's not the debt service coverage ratio of the borrower. When you buy a house, it's all about you, how much income you've got, how much your expenses are. It's not that they won't loan you, it's the loan to value that you're looking for is not what they're gonna give you, nor the rate. Right, so, and that's actually where I'm headed. That's right, it's not that they won't loan you the money, they won't loan you the money that you want because you said, or the buyer said, or the seller said, I want to, I want a million dollars for this property. And he said, sure, I'll give you a million dollars. I can't find that, you know, these kinds of properties anywhere. And the bank looks at it and says, well, it ain't worth a million dollars. So I'm not going to give you 75% of a million. It's worth 800,000. So I'll give you 75% of 800,000. He said, well, wait a minute, that's 150,000 or whatever. I haven't done the math in my head, but it's, it's 150000 less than what I thought it would be. Where am I going to get that money from? And the bank says, hire a deposit. Borrow the money. Well, that's why I'm here, to borrow the money. No, borrow from your friends. Uh, make some kind of a deal with somebody and pay them some interest. Take more risk. But we're not taking the risk because we don't think the property is worth what you're willing to pay for it. We're not telling you not to buy the property. We're just telling you you got to put more down payment than you normally would.